Hi everyone, this is Mifta and today we are going to be learning about the breadth first traversal. Uh, there are two kinds of traversal, breadth first search and depth first search. Sorry, I get stuck in this a, a lot. Okay, anyway, uh, the BFS traversal uses Q data structure and the DFS traversal uses the stack data structure. So first of all, we're going to be looking at the BFS traversal and uh, it's really easy, don't worry. I mean, whoever has confusion, I'm... I'm I'm sure that you can reach confusion will go away after seeing this tutorial. Okay, start off, we start from a source node which is zero. We go alphabetically or chronologically and in this case, uh, well, following the numbers, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Anyway, uh, so zero is like the source, the source node, oh, oops, okay, yeah, let me select the color yellow, yeah. Okay, so zero is like the source node and we start from here and work our way through adjacent to all the other vertices. So, wait, let me just select. Mm. Sorry about that. Okay. Now, the first the first uh, number the first vertex that zero zero goes through is 1 since 1 is adjacent to 0 and also 2, but since we're going alphabetically, chronologically and everything, so we choose one. So we Q and Q one. Uh, sorry, yeah. We NQ one, and then after that we NQ two. So we mark it as visited. We mark one as visited and two as visited. Now. After that, we have to go to the next adjacent node. Now, zero has visited all of its adjacent nodes, uh, vertices. Now, where do we go next? We go select one or two. But then since we're going, like I said, alphabetically, chronologically, and whatever, yada, yada, so we choose one. Uh, now, let me select the color. Yeah. Ah, okay. Now. We DQ1 since we are now selecting one as the ver source node. So after we DQ1, we go to one's adjacent node, which is two. But since two is already visited, we don't need to mark it as visited. Now we go to the next adjacent node. We go to the next node that that will be the source vertex, which is two. So we DQ2. And now from 2, we'll go to its adjacent nodes, which are 3 and 5. So let's just NQ 3 and 5 here. 3 and 5. Oh, and the result is the final sequence of the breadth first search traversal. So you have to write down the results as well. Sorry about that. Anyway, so the next node that we visit is 3 and 5. And, well, we have to write it alphabetically, chronologically, and all that. So, yeah. And now we mark it as visited. So, yellow. Uh, ah, stupid. Okay. So, 3 is visited and 5 is visited. Ugh, the color isn't the same. Oh, man. When am I going to get the hang of this? Okay. Now... We go to the next node that will be the source node. So, uh, okay. So we DQ3. Now, let me remind you again queuing is done from the, like, the, the DQing is done from the beginning of the, of the queue, and the D, uh, NQ is done at the end of the queue. Like, like a you know like when you're standing in a line in a bus for getting a bus ticket or whatever the one who grabs the ticket first gets to get into the bus so think of it like that just to jog your memory and uh, for for queue data structure anyway so do we DQ3 and now we take this as the source vertex now we visit the adjacent nodes to 3 which are 4 and 6 so we mark it as visited first we write 4 and 6 then mark it as visited four, six, and now write it down in the result 
always remember to write it down in the result because that is the main answer that you're going to be writing, right? So, four and six. Okay. Now, again, back to this. Now we DQ five. The next, the next, no, the next one in the queue, and we take this as the source vertex. Now five has just one vertex adjacent to it, which is seven. So we write down seven, put it in the queue, put it in the result, and mark it as visited. Done. So we visited almost all the nodes. All the nodes actually, not almost, sorry about that. Now, if we just keep on, like, the, according to algorithm, which I'll show it to you again later on, right now, after this, we have to, we, the whole thing closes down after every, the whole queue is empty. The whole loop closes down if the queue is empty. So, we enqueue this, sorry, we dequeue this. So, four, well, four is the source node, but adjacent to it, all the nodes are visited already, so no need to write them down in the result. We now the DQ6. Now every node adjacent to 6 is also visited, so we don't need to write down the result either. Now we DQ7, and all the nodes adjacent to 7 are visited as well, so we don't need to write down the result. So the final result is 1, 2, 3, 5, 4, 6, 7 uh, for the depth, for the breadth first search traversal. Now let's take a look at the algorithm of BFS. Uh, well, first what you do is we initialize all the vertices. It's already initialized anyway, and we queue all the the queue. We queue the source node, which is zero, as you as we can recall. Zero was the source node. Anyway, after we queue everything, now we go inside the loop. While queue is not empty, we remove the top. Well, it shouldn't be remove the top. It should be we remove the first item since it's a queue, not a stack data structure. So we remove the first item and then for each vertex adjacent to you, adjacent to this first item, the adjacent to the one that, that we removed from the queue, that we in, sorry dequeued, uh, if the color V equals to close to white, now this means that if the color, as in if the vertex V is unvisited, we are visiting the vertex, then we just write the finishing time well this is not needed at the moment but this thing is needed which is the predecessor uh, we mark the predecessor like for this for one the predecessor is zero for two the predecessor is zero for three the predecessor is two something like that yeah so after that we nq nq the ones that we are that we visited adjacent to that thing to that vertex sorry thing okay Anyway, and we go through like this until the queue is empty, like I said, we, we check after the queue is empty, we mark the whole vertex as uh, black, black as in it's totally visited. Now, after that, we, uh, well, breadth first search can be, well, this is the simulation which I showed to you right now. And breadth, for, breadth first search can be uh, represented into two forms. Adjacency matrix and adjacency list, which I will show it to you. Yeah, so this is the adjacency list. It's like for each for each vertex, we just mark, we just represent all the uh, vertexes that are connected to it in a linked list format. So zero is connected to eight. Well, we first of all we write down all the vertices like this: zero, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then zero goes to eight. And since it's an undirected graph, so we can just write the same thing. See, for 0 to 8, and when we go to 8, we see that 8 is also connected to 0. So this is an undirected graph. Oh, and by the way, breadth first search can be done for both directed and undirected, weighted and unweighted graph. If it's weighted, you don't need to really worry about the weights. You just need to worry about the chronological order in which you visit all the nodes. Okay, so 0 is connected to 8, 1 is connected to 2, uh, 3, 7, 9, and so on. And adjacency matrix is like this, which is, since the whole, the graph is really big, it's going to be really hard to look at it. So we look at it in this way, from the from the row. So 0 is connected to, is not connected to 0, so it's 0. But when it's connected, we write it down as 1. So 0 is connected to 8, so 1. 1 is connected to uh, not 2, 3, 9, 7, so Two here we place a one, three here we place a one, and then nine, and then seven. 
and so on and if it's weighted instead of one or zero instead of one just one not zero when there is no weight we of course write zero but when there is a weight and when they when it's not connected we write zero but when it's connected we just write the weight instead of one so if it was zero to eight the weight was two so in here we, we don't write one we just write two the weight so yeah that's about it for breadth first stretch traversal and i'll explain the depth first stretch traversal next in the next tutorial and it's we will associate it with the finishing and the starting time as well so i hope you guys understood everything and uh, so please subscribe if you want more and more tutorials on this kind of uh, computer science algorithm algorithm stuff and well uh, good luck bye